Hello again, this is John at MJ Dream Machines. Today we're gonna to do a walk around in this extremely rare car, a 1958 Oldsmobile Super 88 convertible. Has 20 options. It is, I think, probably one of the highest option cars in existence today in this condition. Uh, we're gonna talk with our ace mechanic, Tony, and uh, beautiful car. There's Lucille. Her hair is kind of messed up because this she loves riding around in convertibles. All right, Tony, what we got under the hood here? We got a nice dry power Oldsmobile rocket engine. Very nice, smooth running vehicle, and everything's clean and properly painted and detailed under the hood. See how gorgeous your radiator looks in your condenser, in the front grill area. It has T3 headlights in it. All four lights are T3 headlights. Okay. Why don't you cut the engine off? It's a little loud and we'll talk. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, this under the hood is, it looks brand new. It looks like it just rolled off the assembly line. It's got the J2 uh, option to reduces. Uh, everything is as it was in 1958, uh, except the battery. The batteries, uh, we're gonna switch that out. It's, the, it's not the right size. We're just switching batteries at this point. We're gonna get a new battery today. Beautiful, beautifully done. Uh, as I said before, this car has 20 options and it is extremely rare, extremely fun to drive. This car has power steering, power brakes, power antenna, air conditioning, power windows, and Tony's gonna show you a really, really rare option, and then we'll get up to the rest of the car condition. Okay, we can look brand new. This is called the transportable radio. It pops out. It is now, as you pull it out, you can take it on a picnic or to the beach. This is 1958, it's a, a transistor radio. There's batteries inside. 1958 was the first year this was available. It was only available in Pontiacs and Oldsmobiles, and it works. It is pretty, pretty amazing for that time period. And it locks into place there, and the release is inside the glove box. So if you lock the glove box, then nobody can take it out. All right, let's get out of here and look at the condition of this thing, Tony, and just uh, describe what you see really like the inside of this car. The colors are perfect the, with the white and the red. It just shows up so nice. All the seats are really nice. It has it has power seats that work properly in the front. The inside of the door jams are perfectly clean. Solid sounding. <laughs> I want to grab the key for open control. This is a beautiful car. Uh, one of my favorites, one of our favorites, and it drives great. They call this the Chrome Mobile for obvious reasons. It's, <laughs> it's got a lot of chrome, but it is gorgeous. All right, Tony, tell us about the trunk here. And the inside of the trunk is very clean, and it has the, it comes with the boot and a top to cover it up when you get it home. And the back behind, back behind here, you can see that it hasn't been painted, so you can see how nice and clean that this is right out of the box that so you are getting a good proper vehicle and that's a california car cover it's a hot very uh high-end car cover made for this car uh specifically so this is really clean inside here tony it really looks good and it looks like there's a a serious radio a serious radio and it's got an amp and everything but it's all hidden you really can't you can't see it so it looks totally uh stock from the factory step back here tony just look at this gorgeous chrome oh cannot overemphasize the rarity of this car with the options and in the condition that it's in look at that great dash all that chrome man that's that's pretty really nice it's how clean the carpet looks oh yeah it's just Top drawer all the way. All right, we're gonna put it up in the lift now. We are back. Let's uh, start. We'll just start telling what you see here. How clean the inside of the wheel wells look on this car. It 
hasn't been over over sprayed or anything. Um, the steering on this car is nice and tight, and it has these special hubcaps that are on it that have the flip locks behind the hubcap so that when you push it down, it sucks it to the wheel. The bottom of the car looks very nice, well done. It's all Perry correct painted. The car has looked new braking system on it, new brakes, not the braking system itself, but it still has the old style brake uh, cylinders. Nothing's leaking as you can see as we had the thing running for a while. Drive shaft's nice and clean, transmission's clean, the bottom of the floors on this thing are clean, the rocker panels, it just has a little dirt on it because we do drive these cars a little bit to make sure that they don't just sit. Um, don't really need to tell you anything else on this car. This car is a perfect car. If you are looking for this car or gorgeous convertible in this style year, this would be a perfect example for it. This vehicle still has, which is commonly missing, the little vent cap that sits on the bolt. That thing usually is gone by now, but it has the proper vent cap that looks like an old bottle cap sitting on there, but that is it. That is the proper vent cap for this car. And the bottom of this thing is nice and pretty and clean. Pretty solid. Pretty nice solid. Car. Very nice driving car too. It drives comfortable on the road. And then as you come back, if you look at the chrome with the tail lights and the little optic eye looking reverse lights on these cars. This car is a very good example of this Oldsmobile. Would this be an AACA car? This think? probably would be an AACA car. Just a little wiping down and cleaning up and it should probably cover AAC specs with no problem at all. All right, Tony. Thanks again, man. We'll see you. You're what? We still on? No. No. Okay. <laughs>